For centuries, the Amazon rainforest has been viewed primarily as a vast, untamed wilderness, a sprawling expanse of biodiversity that is home to an array of flora and fauna. However, beneath this dense canopy lies a complex tapestry of human history that is often overshadowed by more famous ancient civilizations, such as the Maya, Aztec, and the Inca. Recent archaeological research has started to unveil the rich legacy of ancient civilizations that thrived in the Amazon long before European contact, revealing that the region was not merely an uninhabited wilderness but a vibrant urban landscape of remarkable societies. The Amazon Basin, often characterised by its challenging environment, has long been considered unsuitable for large-scale human habitation. However, archaeological discoveries over the past few decades have challenged this notion, indicating that the region supported sophisticated societies with advanced social structures. Evidence suggests that the Amazon was dotted with hundreds of interconnected settlements characterised by monumental earthworks, known as geoglyphs, and complex agricultural systems, including the cultivation of crops such as manoic and maize. One of the most intriguing aspects of these civilizations was their approach to land management. Indigenous groups created intricate systems of raised fields, canals, and fish ponds that optimised the use of the landscape, allowing for sustainable agricultural practices. This ingenuity enabled them to harness the natural resources of the rainforest, supporting dense populations in what was once thought to be inhospitable environments. Recent studies have unearthed artefacts such as pottery, tools and agricultural implements, painting a picture of diverse cultures that interacted with one another through trade and cultural exchange. A focal point in understanding the agricultural prowess of ancient Amazonian civilizations is the phenomenon of terra preta, or black earth. This nutrient-rich soil, enriched through human activity and the addition of organic matter, has been found in various locations across the Amazon. The creation of terra preta indicates a long-term investment in land management and has enabled modern researchers to recognise the ecological knowledge possessed by these ancient peoples. By enhancing soil fertility, they secured food production and sustainability, principles that resonate with contemporary agricultural practices. The existence of terra preta also implies that the inhabitants of the Amazon were not merely foragers or transient groups. Instead, they engaged in a form of agriculture that fostered permanent settlements, leading to the development of complex social structures. Some of the largest pre-Columbian settlements, such as those found near the confluence of the Amazon and Tapajos rivers, reveal urban planning that included plazas, ceremonial centres and extensive pathways connecting various communities. A huge ancient city has recently been discovered in the Amazon, hidden for thousands of years by lush vegetation. This finding changes what we know about the history of the people living in the Amazon. The houses and plazas in the Opano area in eastern Ecuador were connected by an astounding network of roads and canals. The area lies in the shadow of a volcano that created rich local soils but also may have led to the destruction of the society. While we knew about cities in the highlands of South America, like Machu Picchu in Peru, it is believed that people only live nomadically or in tiny settlements in the Amazon. This is older than any other site we know in the Amazon. We have a Eurocentric view of civilization, but this shows we have to change our idea about what is culture and civilization, says Professor Stephen Rostain, 
Director of Investigations of the National Centre for Scientific Research in France, who led the research. This also changes the way that we see Amazonian cultures. Most people picture small groups, probably naked, living in huts and clearing land. This shows that ancient people lived in complicated urban societies. The city was built around 2,500 years ago, and people lived there for up to a thousand years, according to archaeologists. It is difficult to accurately estimate how many people lived there at any one time, but scientists say it's certainly in the ten thousands, if not the hundred thousands. The archaeologists combined ground excavations with a survey of a 300 square kilometre area using laser sensors flown on a plane that could identify remains of the city beneath the dense plants and trees. This LiDAR technology found 6,000 rectangular platforms measuring about 20 metres by 10 metres and were 2 to 3 metres in height. They were arranged in groups of three to six units around a plaza with a central platform. The scientists believed that many were homes, but some were for ceremonial purposes. One complex at Kilomope included a 140 meter by 40 meter platform. They were built by cutting into hills and creating a platform of the earth on top. A network of straight roads and paths connected many of the platforms, including one that extended 25 kilometers. Scientists have said these roads were the most striking part of the research. The road network is very sophisticated. It extends over a vast distance where everything is connected. There are also right angles on these roads, which is very impressive for a society at the time. It is much harder to build a straight road than one that fits with the landscape. Some of these roads are also believed to be linked to ceremonies and have very powerful meaning to the society that built them. The scientists also identified causeways with ditches on either side which they believe were canals that helped manage the abundant water in the region. There were also signs of threats to the cities. Some ditches blocked entrances to the settlements, and may be evidence of threats from nearby peoples. Researchers first found evidence of the city in the 1970s, but this is the first time a comprehensive survey has been completed, after 25 years of research. It reveals a large, complex society that appears to be even bigger than the well-known Mayan societies in Mexico and Central America. This society was comparable to one like the Maya, but with completely different architecture, land use and ceramics. Some of the findings are unique for South America, such as the octagonal and rectangular platforms arranged together. The discovery of the roads is also convincing evidence that the societies were clearly well organised and interconnected. As of yet, not a huge amount is known about the people who live there and what their societies were like. Pits and hearts were found on the platforms, as well as jars, stones to grind plants and burnt seeds. The Kilomope and Upano people living there probably mostly focused on agriculture. People ate maize and sweet potato and probably drank chicha, a type of sweet bear. Professor Rostain says he was warned against the research at the start of his career because scientists believed no ancient groups had lived in the Amazon. I'm very stubborn, so I did it anyway. Now I must admit that I'm quite happy to have made such a big discovery, he says. The next step for the researchers is understanding what lies in the adjoining 300 square kilometre area not yet surveyed. The exploration of ancient civilizations in the Amazon reveals a rich and complex history that fundamentally reshapes our understanding of human adaptation and resilience in challenging environments. These societies were not merely transient groups. They were sophisticated communities with advanced agricultural practices, intricate social structures and deep spiritual connections to their land. As we unearth their legacy, 
we uncover invaluable knowledge that can inform current approaches to sustainability, biodiversity conservation, and ecological stewardship. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.